So Paul, now you've sold everyone on the easiest quick get rich quick scheme. So tell me how to make my money. Unfortunately, it might be a, uh, it's always a joke about how do you make a small fortune start with a large fortune. <laughs> I mean, the fact that all the minerals are out there is great, yep. um, but you've got to be able to mine them cost effectively. Yes, sir, and that's the key of this, right? And because the dollars per kilogram is not that great, that means you're going to have to be able to have some fairly fuel efficient way to get the stuff back. That's right, and a lot of it to get back a as well. A lot of it's got to get back. So let's try and do the calculations yep. with current technology. So this is not some science fiction yep. thing in the far future. This is, if I wanted to start my mission today, what can I do? Yeah. And we're going to find that it's not feasible, but it gives us enough guidelines to what we need to change to make it feasible that we know what we have to research over the next 10 years to make this happen. Yep. So let's use the current cheapest rocket, which is the Falcon Heavy. Yep. Hopefully you're supplanted by Starships later this year, but uh, at the moment that's the cheapest, which costs about $90 million to launch 64 tonnes of payload to a low Earth orbit. Okay, yep. So that gives us about a delta V of 9 kilometres per second for 64,000 kilograms. So 1,000 kilograms is one metric tonne. Yep. So we're going to use lots of Falcon 9s. I'm not saying we actually use that rocket, but something with that, that the, power and that delta V, really. That's right, yep. So what delta V do we need? And remember, everything is delta V for professional space yep. people. So it needs delta V. Conveniently, we need about 9 for everything. So first of all, you need about 9 kilometers per second to get to low Earth orbit. Yep. Then you need about 9 to get to an, the asteroid belt. And we, you, we need to get back though. And if you want to land by rockets, then you need another nine to get down, but we can aero break on the way back. We can so we can, we can save atmosphere to slow down. So, so we can save that last nine. So we need three sets of nine to get up there and back with our payload. Right. So let's say we want to send one Falcon 9 back, or not Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy back, yep. loaded with, it's payload 64 tons, it's yep. got 64 tons, which means it's going to need to, all that mass of fuel to give it the delta V of about 9 kilometers a second. So we yep. need a, a full fuel Falcon Heavy here to bring 64 tons of lovely asteroid metal back to Earth. So you need the, all of the fuel essentially just to get your cargo back. Yeah, now you remember the rocket equation. Yeah. Now we did this calculation a yep. bit earlier. Now to achieve a delta V of about nine kilometers per second, we actually did it for the Falcon engine. Yep. Um, it has a VE of about three kilometers a second. So the fuel, the Falcon engine goes out at about three kilometers per second. That's right. And that means the delta V over VE is nine over three. You take the exponential of that, yep. which comes out as about 20. So that means you're gonna need a wet mass 20 times bigger than your dry mass. So that means we need 20 times the 64 tons. Yes. And that's basically how the Falcon, yep. the Falcon Heavy works. You see it's an enormous thing launching a small payload and all that enormous thing is all those other... Yeah, that's right. And it's a bit more complicated because it has stages and so on. Yeah. But by and large, you need a fully fueled Falcon Rocket 9. To get that 64 tons, which is yep. the maximum we can get back. Yep. So what we're going to need is we're going to need this, this uh, Falcon Heavy up here yep. to be fully fueled. So we've got to get the fuel from somewhere. And because you need 20 times more fuel than payload, at least, yep. you're going to need at least 20 Falcon Heavies to go to the asteroid, each of which carrying 64 tons of fuel, which then loads into it to get one rocket coming back. But, th but, th but this isn't from Earth, because that was another Delta 9. So these have to be 20 fully fueled Falcon Heavies to get to the asteroid to get our one... In low Earth orbit. In low Earth orbit to get our one... Falcon Heavy back to Earth. But we've got to get him in there, right? So to get even one Falcon Heavy to the asteroid belt, you're going to need another 20 times. So we need 20 to get one, one of these, to... and then 20 of those, each of which had 20 coming from here, to get one back. So we need 20 times 20. So let's do the maths. So one Falcon Heavy K is 64 tons, $2.50 per kilogram. That means you get $160,000. Okay. Now you're going to need 20 Falcon Heavies from low Earth orbit to get enough fuel to get the one back. back. Yeah, that's right. And, and we, for each of those 20, you're going to need another, another 20. 20. So you're going to need 20 times 20, so roughly 400 launches. To get the one load of minerals back. So $90 million a launch, that means it's going to cost you about $36 billion to make $160,000. No, I'm not, I'm not selling my accountant on that one. I yeah, I was going to say, I, 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 I don't know how well that's going to work out. Okay, we've got problems.